What is going on guys? Money Webby here back again on Friday. We got a crazy slate here today. A ton of high scoring games, a ton of options to go with one of the best slates that I've seen in a while. So I'm going to try to break it down for you with my money six favorite six guys to kind of roll out there. Great values all around. So drop a like in the video before we get going. Show some support for the channel. I'd greatly appreciate it. Let's try to get over 100 likes again. If we could and subscribe if you are new here I already uploaded my MLB video for the day so you can go and check that out after this video if you want to do that but let's just hop into it no waste of time in this video Anthony Davis the unibrow or maybe the unibrow no longer he hosted that uh, Twitter poll to see if he should shave his unibrow but uh, 11,600 against the Cavs we know how bad their defense is down low and this is a big game for the Pelicans so I think Anthony Davis is going to play heavy minutes probably around 40 minutes yet again and really post a huge number should be able to score over 30 points again get over 10 rebounds and he always can get those heavy block numbers so against Cleveland here and he had a very good game against them earlier this year with 61 tracking points and that was with the Marcus Cousins in the lineup towards the beginning of the year so Anthony Davis another big game coming lock him in there and for my second guy we're gonna go with another team that really needs to win uh, the Denver Nuggets, Nikolai Jokic, their stud, has been playing very well recently. It seems like he's trying to take over this offense as of late, especially against Toronto. Put up 21 shots against Washington, 21 shots against Philly. That's a really tough matchup against uh, Joel Embiid. Only 14 shots there, but he couldn't really get anything going. So I think in this game against OKC, he should be able to get it going here. I uh, can definitely flirt with the triple-double again. Last game against OKC, the game was an absolute shootout, and he got a triple-double in that one. So I think he could definitely get that again. 68 drafting points last game in that must-win game against Toronto. And against OKC, they're on a back-to-back -back here, so they'll be a little bit tired. So Nikolai Jokic can definitely take advantage of him down low on the offensive glass and stuff like that with them being a little bit tired. So lock him in there. And for my third guy... Dario Saric, I uh, mentioned Joel Embiid's name, but he is going to be out for this game. So that means Dario Saric is kind of going to be that go-to guy on the offense. And at 6800 it's a really nice price tag. He showed the kind of upside he has against New York last game when he got that like uh, number one option role on the team, putting up 19 shots. 56 drafting points, a crazy good game there. And Atlanta, we know they're very bad defensively. I think Sarich can take advantage of him here, um, be able to score a lot, and he can get a double-double with the more rebounds without Embiid in the lineup and should get 30-plus minutes. Uh, without Embiid, it means it's a lesser chance of being like an absolute blow in this game. Uh, New York actually stayed with uh, Philly pretty well in that game without Embiid. Um, so Dario Saric, 6,800. I see 35-plus drafting points. Lock him in there. And for my fourth guy, sticking with that game, Dwayne Dedman with uh, Embiid out. That's a huge loss for their defense down low. We saw Ennis Cantor post a double-double on that game. He was putting in some work down low. Uh, so I think Dwayne Dedman can get a double-double in this game, get a few more rebounds against his team without Embiid because uh, that's probably their weakest link on defense now with Embiid out of the lineup. And dedman has been very consistent recently, getting around 30 minutes per game and getting a double-double in almost every single game. That game against Houston is the only one he really struggled, but 29, 29, 31, 46, 29 to like five out of the last six games. So he's consistently returning value, getting those solid minutes, and I think he'll be more of a focal point on the offense with that weak link, on, weak link on defense, like I mentioned. So Dwayne Dedman, lock him in there. I think he could go overlooked, honestly, in that game because he's kind of like a... He's not a sexy pick, but he's always been returning value recently. But for my fifth guy, Tyrone Wallace, a cheap option that should get some solid run again in this game. Going against Portland, he played extremely well against Phoenix last game. A little bit tougher a matchup, though, here against Portland. Uh, but he still played pretty well against them early this year um, when he got those minutes. 20 drafting points. And at 3,400, doesn't need to do much to return the value. It seems like every time he gets an opportunity, he does very well with it like we see in these games. Uh, 28 against Denver, 33 against Phoenix, 20 against Golden State. Whenever he's given the opportunity, he normally takes advantage of it. And Milos Teodosic uh, is out of this game. He's hurt, so Tyron Wallace is going to be slated to start again in this game. And I think he's a pretty good player. He's a solid rebounder. He can definitely cut to the hoop very well. 
solid dry rake and finish with both hands. So a good player at 3400 I'll take advantage of that price and lock him in there. So that's the top five. You got Tyrone Wallace, Anthony Davis, Nikolai Jokic, Dario Saric, and Dwayne Dedman. All those guys can return a lot of value on their price. And for my uh, value guy, definitely a GPP guy, but Marshawn Brooks. If you never heard of this guy, he was an absolute stud in college at Providence. Just an extreme good scorer, uh, but it didn't last that long in the NBA. Uh, he went over to, I think I was reading this, he went over to like the G League or something. I don't even know where he went. Uh, oh, he played overseas, that's what it was. And he was balling over there, but now he's back in the NBA. Uh, and he got an opportunity, a 10-day contract with the Memphis Grizzlies because they're so banged up at point guard. Andrew Harrison and Tyreek Evans will be out of this game again here. He got 21 minutes against Portland, and he took advantage of the matchup. 5 for 5 from 3, 31 drafting points. Not saying he's going to be able to replicate that performance, but this guy is a scorer. He's a shooter. When he has the ball, he's going to put it up. So I think he's going to try to score a lot in this game again, prove his worth, and get over 20 drafting points, honestly. I think he should be able to get over 20 minutes again here. Uh, the Grizzlies, they're tanking, so might as well turn to some guy from the overseas, even though I think he's a pretty solid player. I was a fan of him coming out of college. So Marshawn Brooks, I'm going to put my trust in you. But a guy, like I said, might maybe more GPP because he could just blow up my face and the Grizzlies give him like five minutes. But Marshawn Brooks, like him a lot here at only the 3000 a bare minimum salary. So lock him in there. And that gets you up to 5400 remain per player. Crazy good value there. So that is it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Drop a like on the video if you did. 100 plus likes, I would greatly appreciate it. And so hit that subscribe button if you are new here and want to check out my MLB videos as well. You can go see that right after this. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in. Wish you guys the best of luck on this nine-game slate. Should be a very good slate. There's a ton of options to choose from. Great slate to play. Should be very exciting. And enjoy your Friday night, guys. Hope you guys have a good one. And we'll see you back here again tomorrow.